All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Hello, and welcome to the BFS E-News Podcast. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. Astronomy compels the soul to look upward and leads us from this world to another. Plato, the Republic, 342 BCE. I'm here today with Laura Harris and Lisa Ventry of The Green Room, and they're here to talk to us about something really important, it is our astronaut training program for our preschoolers. So why are we trying to teach our preschoolers how to be astronauts? Every year in the fours we do a bigger curricular project in the springtime and we know that four-year-olds really like magic and fantasy but are also ready to learn about science and art and other kinds of learning that goes beyond themselves. So we thought that space was a nice intersection between learning about something that a lot of them are already interested in and something that would be a platform for their imaginations. And so how do you go about it? What's the first thing you do? in the program. So I guess the first part is introducing um, the astronaut part, that we're all becoming astronauts and we're going to space. And so that's really exciting for them because they're like, we're going to space and they actually think we're going up to space, but some are really scared. They're like, we don't want to go, I'm getting really scared. Um, And then we tell them about the five, I think, places we're going to head to. So we're going to start in the sky and talk about clouds. Then we're going to um, blast off to the moon. And after the moon, we go to the sun and the stars. And after the sun and the stars, we go to the planets. Um, And while we're blasting off, we're going to be training as astronauts. So we're ready to go on up to space. So the training involves a lot of physical activity? Yes. So there's the physical part. Um, which takes part in the lower gym and sometimes on the roof. And we tell them that astronauts need to be really strong um, and need to prepare for uh, living out in space in the rocket ship and how it's different because of gravity. And um, NASA has a great uh, video clips of what it's like to train like an astronaut for kids. And so we use that as our model um, to help the kids train. And, and you actually, you guys build a rocket ship, right, in, in your classroom? Uh, we didn't build one this year. This, oh. is, this is the rocket's second mission. We had Its first mission was last year, and then we added some tweaks to it this year for its second mission. So it's, it's seen a lot of activity over the past two years. Oh, that's cool. So you've recycled the rocket. Yes. You guys are ahead of NASA. Okay, <laughs> I like that. And, and your students are involved in research too, right? Yes. Um, so another part of the training is the um, academic part, sort of. And they become experts. We broke this year, this was something new. We broke them up into four different groups, and so they became experts on planets. So, five friends were uh, planet experts, four friends were sun and star experts, another four friends were moon experts, and another four friends were cloud experts. And so, we broke them up into small groups so that they can write books on each area of space. Okay, now. Um, they are four years old, so that's correct. But, uh, and so what, I, I'm assuming uh, that play is really important in their learning, and this is all part of this 
unit as well. Is that correct? It's a mixture of of learning, trying to figure out how to convey facts in a playful way so that they can understand them, particularly about something that's so abstract. Um, and a lot of role play, I think, goes into that, you know, with astronaut training and having them take on a the, the role of an expert and own their knowledge. Um, and then with the rocket being able to kind of put what they know into um, a sort of real life scenario, as it were, that they are at the computer and they're able to to talk about the things that they've learned, but in in this pretend play kind of context. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. What's their favorite part of the unit? I think they love the training, the physical part of the training. Um, and then I think it's the dress-up area yeah. where we transform the dress-up area. And the rocket ship comes down and the spacesuits come out and they're really like NASA astronauts. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Well, thank you very much for being on the show today and uh, good luck with the next mission. Thank, thank you, you, Andy. <laughs> According to writer Shannon Hale, NASA's next urgent mission should be to send good poets into space so they can describe what it's really like. Maybe some of our students will be those poets. Thanks for joining us today, and remember to let your life speak. <laughs>